Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, Moto Flight Guy here. And as you can see, the tailwind is not in my hangar. A lot has happened since my last video and you won't want to miss this one, so stay tuned. So if you didn't catch it from the intro, it's a Thorpe T18. It was a legitimate barn find. We actually dug this thing out of the back of a barn and my girlfriend came along with a camera when we loaded it and filmed it all. So I'm gonna roll all that footage and tell you guys a little bit more about it. We had to move this orange air coop out of the way first as the gentleman there on the left wing owns both these airplanes. He's had them shoved in this barn for the last 20 plus years. And he used to have a private airstrip there, but it's now just all farm ground. So these things have kind of been forgotten about in this barn hangar for the last 20 years. I ended up tracking this guy down through my local EAA chapter. And after arranging a couple visits to come look at the airplane and inventory stuff, I ended up working out a deal to purchase the airplane and all the parts. The airplane is currently a project. Um, you'll see me here in just a second carrying a, a wing section out. That's the left outboard wing section and it needs rebuilt. There, there I'm carrying the right outboard wing, which is still complete. Um, it's got a little bit of issues that need resolved, but for the most part, it's a very complete Thorpe T-18. I believe we got all of the parts to the airplane as you can see there, I've got my helpers carrying out stuff. We're laying it out to inventory it. it. Wasn't stored the best in this barn. There was a lot of random boxes and containers that had parts to the airplane. So it took quite a while to inventory everything and make sure that we did indeed have all the pieces to the airplane. I'm pleased to say that it looks like I have everything I need to put it back together and I shouldn't need anything but maybe some new AN hardware. Here we are unloading it at my hangar uh, same day and you can see all the dirt and grime on this thing from it sitting in a dirt floor barn for 20 years. It was difficult to really truly assess the condition of this thing in that barn because there was no lighting in there. I knew it was going to clean up well, but it's difficult with low lighting until you get it out in the sun and really see what you're working with. But I'm happy to say that after we started cleaning this thing up, it cleaned up almost like a brand new airplane. Paint is Emron and it's in fan fantastic condition. And I'm happy to say that uh, the airplane cleaned up really well. Everything's in good condition. and outside of rebuilding one of the wings, this really should just be a uh, assembly slash upgrade project. So super stoked on how this thing came out and I'm looking forward to getting started on the rebuild process. So here's the airplane all cleaned up in my hangar. Super, super stoked about how this thing cleaned up. You can see the windscreen the canopy just almost perfect the paint is emron paint and it is just in fantastic shape um, the story is um, somewhat muddied up but i believe three guys built these thorps together down in texas and the idea was to do formation together and they had them all painted with this scheme so there's actually other ones out there that look just like this kind of a neat story um, engine is an 0320 150 horsepower hasn't been started in over 20 years really good clean on the exterior but if you know anything about Lycomings um, they don't like to sit so uh, I just got this thing getting re getting stuff ready to uh, get in my shop and hangar ready to start working on it but first thing is the engine gonna pull a jug look at the cam uh, just see what I'm working with see how much corrosion is inside the engine if any I'm expecting to have to split the cases on the engine and put a cam and lifters in it and kind of go through it because uh, 
it's like I said been sitting for over 20 years like homings typically don't like that uh, here's all the other parts to the airplane and this here is the main work that needs done to it so this is the left outboard wing panel so on a Thorpe it's a three-piece wing here's your center section wing and your fuselage goes in there so it bolts up to the belly of the airplane and then you obviously got the outboard wings that give the Thorpe uh, you know bent wing signature bent wing these panels bolt on here and this uh, so the the story is this wing got hangar damage uh, some time ago he hired a guy to rebuild it and when that guy rebuilt it he built it with a twist in it which is not uncommon um, a lot of people get twist in these whenever they build them because they don't get the skin on there right and he actually flew it with that wing and it had too much roll tendency uh, to be able to take out with a trim tab so they had the skin drilled back off of it and he was in the process of trying to get that wing rebuilt and life got in the way so basically I've got a new roll of skin somewhere back there in the corner so I've already got the brand new skin to go on that. That wing just needs rebuilt, reskinned, and built straight. So I have some people that are gonna help me out with that. I'm gonna lean on them for some advice. But that's the biggest thing the airplane needs done. Outside of that, all the parts are here. Cowling, wheel pants, all the fiberglass parts, the wing tips. Uh, there's the right outboard wing panel. I have everything to the airplane and Essentially, after this is rebuilt, it's just bolting stuff back together, uh, doing a good inspection while I'm doing it. There's really not a lot of work. Here's some of the rest of the parts, and here's the seats. So the seats are probably going to get recovered. They're kind of nasty. They've been sitting uncovered in a barn for 20 years, so you can just imagine. And moving inside show you guys the panel my camera will expose it right so there's the panel obviously very dated vfr panel um, undecided on how i'm gonna what direction i'm gonna go with this panel so it's not gonna stay like this if you look at this museum piece here that is a terra Loran C slash nav radio slash calm radio. <laughs> um, so obviously we're going to be putting a new calm and a new transponder in this so that we've got reliable uh, squawking and talking. But this is a vacuum six pack, a lot of weight, vacuum pumps probably shot. So I want to delete the vacuum system. Like I said, still trying to figure out what direction I want to go with the panel, but more than likely the whole panel is going to come out and I'm going to get a new panel cut and some new stuff is going to go in there because the thing doesn't have any engine monitoring, so to speak, just oil temp and pressure. So um, obviously whenever I get this thing going, I'm going to want full EGT and CHT monitoring on all four cylinders. So we're going to have to do something with the panel but how far I go with that's gonna be dictated by how much other unexpected costs I run into with the airplane but that is the Thorpe super stoked on the project and can't wait to dig into it and get this thing back in the sky <laughs>